Hello everyone and welcome to another Katia for Beginners tutorial. I will I will be modeling this part using Katia part design workbench today. Using the drawing over here. To start off, I will close this file and open up Katia part design workbench. Part 1, click OK. Let's hide the ground plane by clicking on view ground and click on fit all in and click isometric. Select XI, XI plane and go to sketch mode by clicking on sketch a workbench command. There are more than one way of achieving the final goal what I'm going to use in this tutorial is I'm going to use basic CATIA command to complete the project I'll be using pad feature pocket feature fillet feature draft feature and mirror feature let's begin let's take this point as origin go to circle command double click and use tab key to enter the value over here press tab key press shift and tab to enter the h value enter 0 press tab again enter 0 press tab then enter 15 for the radius click enter now the circle with 50 mm radius is created at the origin. Let's click on the command again. Press tab key. Press shift tab. Press 0. Enter. Press tab key. 0. And again enter. And press tab again. So the radius is the small radius is 10 millimeter the diameter is 20 millimeter so press 10 millimeter enter so the second circle is created with arc 10 now let's create the other two circles on this side so in order to do that first I will create a line of 78 0.75 millimeter long I will make it construction in order to make it construction click on construction standard element then click line command so let's mark the start press tab key press shift tab starts point zero again tab start point zero again tab key then we will enter the length 78.75 again tap key enter the angle 90 degrees press enter you can see the line is created vertically 90 degrees 78.75 millimeter let's double click on the circle tool select this point as center and press tap key to enter the radius enter 15 millimeter click ok now again select the same point as the center and press tab key to enter the radius press 10 enter escape escape to exit the command now you can see we were in the construction mode therefore these two lines were created as construction element so let's select both lines and click on the construction standard element to swap from construction to standard here we go now let's we have to create the third point so in order to do that first I will be I have to mark this point so which is 70.88 from this circle and 55.13 from this circle so I will create construction 
double-click on this uh, construction standard element tool and double-click on circle to command so I will select this edge and enter the radius 70.88 circle is created and again I will use tab key shift tab press 0 enter again tab 0 enter again tab enter the radius 55.13 55.13 here we go the other circle is created so we can actually mark the point over here let's create the other two circles click on this point when you hover your mouse you can see the both the dotted circles are highlighted that means the point is selected click on the point as center and press tab key you can actually use the mouse as well enter the radius 15 millimeter enter then again click the same point as the center then enter the radius 10 millimeters the second circle is created press escape twice to exit the command again we have to convert this to standard element by clicking selecting both circles and clicking on construction standard element command all right now i will create two more construction line to mark from this circle center to this circle and to this circle center so double click select standard construction element command and select double click on line tool so this is select this point and center point of the circle and again select the center point of this circle and center point of this circle now you can see all the lines are in um, green color that's been the sketch is fully defined let's arrange some of the dimensions as we want So that we can easily uh, recognize each dimensions all right let's use offset command so i will select this line and click on offset we can select all three all three lines and click on offset command then enter the offset value from this point the gap between these two lines is 5 millimeter enter 5 millimeter enter now again let's convert this line to a standard element by clicking on construction standard and now it's, it is the time to use trimming tool so click on trim tool and double click on quick trim tool and let's trim unnecessary lines press escape double click on this command type 5 instead of minus 5 now let's delete let's delete all unnecessary lines so we can add uh, the dimension to make this fully defined double click on click on constraint at this dimension make it green double click on this line at this dimension and again this dimension 
now sketch is fully defined we have to trim few more items double click on quick trim command and let's trim these lines line and this line and this line as well click on normal view and fit all in now exit the quick trim tool by pressing escape and press undo once twice to get this line back it was trimmed accidentally now still we have to trim few more lines double click on quick trim tool and let's trim the other lines as well click this line all right so now the unnecessary lines are trimmed and the sketch is completed for the pad feature exit the workbench and click on pad feature command and enter the thickness value extrude length so this is 50 millimeter and I'm going to have only half of this model first then mirror the other side so the total height I want is 7.5 millimeters so enter 7.5 and click preview and click ok and press fit all in here we go now the base pad is completed let's use the pocket feature pocket feature to have this pocket at the center so select top surface of the model and go to sketch mode again and now it is time to use project 3d element command so select these edges this edge and pressing control this edge this edge and edge of the three circles three holes and press click on uh, project 3d elements and six edges are selected and click ok now you can see uh, the converted entities from the 3d model to the sketch by yellow color lines let's uh, offset this uh, each line 5 millimeter to create this sketch so select this line click on offset and enter 5 millimeter press tab key and enter 5 millimeter and similarly select this line click offset press tab key enter 5 millimeters select this line press offset press tab key enter 5 millimeters and select this circle offset press tab key enter 5 millimeters select this circle click on offset tab key 5 millimeter similar to the last one as well and offset 5 millimeters now the, the sketch is there and I will trim unnecessary lines I will click on quick trim command and trim all unnecessary circles and lines and uh, end of these lines as well this edge this edge you can see the dotted line is still there indicating that those lines are convert entities projected from the 3d model so but still 
as long as it is uh, not a standard line we can use the commands so trim this line and trim this line trim this line so all the lines are trimmed click on fit all in normal view and let's exit the sketch mode and click on pocket feature and now we can see the depth is 2.5 millimeter so type 2.5 press preview press ok here we go now let's create the fillet external fillet which is 5 millimeter 5 millimeter fillet so use this edge fillet command and enter the radius 5 millimeter select all these external edges and six edges are selected click on preview click on ok external fillets are created let's use the draft draft feature to create the draft three millimeters three millimeter draft click on draft tool draft angle then enter the angle 3 millimeter and we have to select all external faces now. this face and this face as well all the external faces are selected angle is 3 degrees let's select the natural neutral face to begin the draft so click ok click on here select the neutral surface change the direction by clicking on the arrow click on preview looks all right click ok here we go the pad draft is created with three millimeters click normal view fit all in let's add the fillet for the rest of the edges the all the fillets are two millimeters if you look at these drawings the fillets is two millimeters internal fillet external fillets of this uh, part is two millimeters so let's click on edge fillet command and let's enter the radius two millimeter and we have to select the edges we can select edges multiple edges surfaces faces or the whole body to create the fillets so i'll select this face so that it will select all the edges and also i will select this face so that it will select the all the edges and also i will select these faces as well 
so that it can it can select the vertical edges as well here we go so all the edges are selected for the fillet and click preview looks all right click ok fit all in and click on isometric here we go now the top part is completed the final step let's mirror this one onto the other side so click on mirror tool select mirror and select the mirror mirroring element we have to select the face and uh, object to mirror current solid preview click ok fit all in isometric the part is completed let's hide the three planes right clicking hide show finally you can add the color as well click on this apply material and uh, you can actually drag and drop the color you want and click on apply material the color is applied and close the dialog box i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like subscribe and comment click on notification icon so that you can receive new notification for my new release thank you for watching